Hi, I'm Ken German, Senior Editor here at CNET.com. Today we're going to take a first look at the Samsung Solstice, also called the SGH A877. This is a new phone for AT&T service. This touchscreen phone is very similar to other Samsung touchscreen phones we've seen, but overall it is pretty stylish and thin, but really it's not, nothing we haven't seen before. As a touchscreen phone from Samsung, it does offer the company's TouchWiz interface. It has a bunch of widgets there that you can drag out to the main menu. You can maximize them and then uh, access that appropriate function, or you can access the function straight from the bar. But of course, you are limited to the widgets that Samsung provides you. You can't create new ones, but overall, it is a pretty unique interface that's easy to use. Just a few physical controls down at the bottom. Here on this side, you'll see the camera shutter. Uh, next to it is a button that brings up a on-screen uh, shortcut menu. And over here is the combined port for the headset and the charger. Down at the bottom of the display, we have a few uh, static controls, one for the phone dialer. Uh, pretty standard, looks a lot like other phone dialers you've seen on the other Samsung touchscreen phones. We have a contacts list and for the main menu. And then once you open the menu, you see you have a messaging shortcut down below. You press that again, take you to the messaging menu. This phone does have a full QWERTY keyboard. It's a little bit cramped given the size of the display. Mostly easy to use though. The phone is about standard as far as features. Have those messaging features, megapixel camera, personal organizer features, Bluetooth, music player, so nothing too fancy, just your standard mid-range phone with a few media features thrown in. I'm Ken Sherman, and this is the Samsung Solstice. Hey guys, Brian Tong here, and if you're looking to see the top dogs in tech face off, then you need to watch CNET's prize fight. We'll throw touchscreen phones in the ring, reignite the console wars, battle web browsers, and more. So you can find it all at CNET.com slash prizefight. And I'll see you there. Woo-ha!